it's Minnie. Welcome back to Colors of Lily. I wanted to come in and show you how I created a pillow cover for my nasty, outdated couch pillow. Um, the, I like the size of this pillow because it's like 21 inches square. So it's a really nice pillow. But I wanted to do something different with it because my kids are always um, laying on the pillows when they're on the couch. So I decided to crochet a thick and quick um, couch cover, a couch pillow cover. And I want to show you how I did it. It was super simple. And I want to ask you, what's your favorite thick and quick yarn? Make sure you put it down in the comment section for me so that I can be on the lookout for that. But this pattern is super simple. I use Yarn Inspiration's Burn Art Blanket Yarn. And it's 100% polyester. And I used about 12 ounces approximately. It's a super bulky yarn at a number 6. And the color is dark gray. I used a USP hook. And this is a fairly large hook. Also, in the comment section, let me know what your favorite crochet hook is. I've been on the lookout for some new hooks, you know, more um, friendly hooks. So, let me know what your favorite crochet uh, hook is down in the comment section as well. We're going to start with a slip knot. So, you just take the long piece of yarn and fold it over the short piece of yarn. Take the long piece of yarn, push it through the loop that you just made, and tighten with the short piece of yarn. And that's your slip knot. Insert your crochet hook, and now we're going to chain 30 chains. And to chain, you just simply loop the yarn over and pull through. One, two, three, four, five, and you continue that until you have 30 chains. Go ahead and do a half double crochet in the third loop from the hook. And that's this loop right here. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my crochet hook, pull the yarn up for three loops on the hook, yarn over, and I am going to pull that all the way through all three loops. And that's a half double crochet. And I'm going to do that all the way across. Yarn over. Insert, pull up, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three loops. And when I get done, I should have 28 half double crochets. I like to do the half double crochets in the top loop of my chain to keep all stitches uniform. And 
now that I'm at the end of this row, I should have 28 half double crochets. Now I'm going to chain two. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Turn the work. And then we're going to do a half double crochet in the top of each of the half double crochets. And you should see a little loop where you can actually do your half double crochets right in the top. So you're going to yarn over, insert your crochet hook, and pull up. Yarn over, and there's my loop right at the very top. And when you get done, you should have 28 half double crochets. So this is going to be our pattern. You're basically going to do 28 half double crochets, chain two, flip the work, 28 half double crochets, and just continue that until the pattern is long enough. Each time you get to the end of your row, you want to make sure you have the 28 stitches because sometimes you can get lost on this very last stitch and you don't want to get lost on it. So when you go in to do your double, your half double crochet, make sure you go right into the loop under the two um, strands from the half double crochet before. So do not have double crochet in the chain two space. So make sure you don't get lost and make sure you keep 28 stitches the entire time. I am finishing up my 25th row and this is going to be the last row for me. Now I am going to clip my ends, pull through. Now you just have to do the same thing all over again for the second half of your pillow cover. I am finishing up my 25th row. And instead of tying off this row, I am going to match up my second piece. half of the pillow cover that I did. I'm going to match it up here. I'm going to chain one and then I am going to single crochet all the way around to close three sides of the pillow cover up. When I get to the corners, I am going to add three single crochets in the corner. You give a nice rounded look. And continue to single crochet. I've so I've crocheted three sides and I'm leaving this opening and I am going to stuff my pillow inside the opening. Okay, so I'm going to take this.
Now to close up the remaining side. Okay, and now I am going to do a slip stitch and tie it off. So now all I have to do is weave in my end. But that is my finished product. So that was a really quick and simple crochet tutorial. Let me know if you tried the pattern down in the comment section as well. I really appreciate you guys watching my video and make sure you comment. Click the bell to be notified of when I upload future videos and make sure you like the video. Y'all have an amazing, amazing day. Bye-bye.